Hi there guys, it's Dean here from iFamily Collect. I hope you're all doing fine today. And uh, 50 pences. So we're on the hunt for 50 pences, looking for some coins for the book and have a little chat to make sure everyone's okay. Make sure no one's worried about this, uh, the CV, the, the virus that everyone's too scared to talk about. Well, they're, not, they're not even too scared to talk about. It's all you hear about. It's just this bloody virus. All you hear on the radio and the news and the TV, oh, pop-ups on your phone, announcements on Boris Johnson's announced this and he's announced that. And, oh, come and do with it. So, that lightheartedness, let's have a hunt through coins. So I had a few messages, messages yesterday, um, a few people wanting to know if, if I'm going to continue doing my lives. As long as I can get coins, I'll do my lives. Norfolk, hello. How you doing? Um, as long as I can get coins, I'll keep doing my lives. Or as long as I can get coins and not pose a, a risk to my family, then I'll continue doing coins. And if I can't do coins, then I'll just do coin-related videos. For example, I've got, apart from this year, I've got all the proof sets from 1971. So I suppose I could start showing them off. Um, some rare coins, um, lots of different bits and bobs. I'm sure we've all got um, coins that we we, we treasure, uh, treasure and you know, cherish and we put away and never look at it again. Uh, I've certainly got that. It's not until you go through your box and you go, I forgot I had that. Oh, yeah. I'm like that all the time. You find stuff and go, I forgot I bought that. Um, Cornish Exploring with Alex, hello. Hans Coins, hello. David S, hello. So, yeah, we'll have a little chat as we're, we're going along. Just make sure everyone's all right and um, we want to talk about the virus. Then, you know, let's, let's have a little chat about it. But a lot of people are getting down about it, and I thought, you know, if we can keep doing these videos and uh, try and keep it lighthearted, it's the best thing for it. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we had uh, yesterday Jersey Coin Hunt, hello. Um, so we had a little uh, joke yesterday about the, the panic buy. Panic buy. Uh, Items that everyone's buying. I mean, what's the weirdest thing that that you've seen in a, a shop that they've sold out of? Um, lasagna sheets. I've seen that. Lasagna sheets. Um, so lasagna sheets are getting bought up. Good luck trying to get the mints. <laughs> uh, good luck trying to get the mints. Ron M. Hello, Judith. Hello. Um, so yeah, lasagna sheets. They're selling out in toilet rolls. Your usual toilet rolls. Bleach. Don't know. Salt. Salt's a good one to get. Um, stock up on salt, pepper, vinegar, tomato sauce, brown sauce. Just fill your condiments. Uh, cupboard full. Uh, it's, 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 you know, buy stuff you actually are going to use and stuff you are going to need and not stuff that you, you think, oh, I don't like that. The kidney beans. You've got eight tins of kidney beans, but you don't like them. Why, why buy them? You don't like them. What, just so you've got them? Because there was nothing else on the shelves? We saw. And again, be be realistic. I mean, there's people, you know, going away and getting, like, a car full of toilet rolls. Why? If you do catch a coronavirus, it doesn't come out your rear end. Uh, it doesn't come out your rear end. So I, I don't know what, what you're worried about. Uh, weirdest thing I've seen sold out in the shop today is butter. Butter, yeah, you, yeah. You buy all the butter, but you've no bread to put it on, unless you've got crackers. Rivita, you know, Rivita is fine if you're on a diet or um, if you're desperate. So, I suppose desperation. Um, tell, tell me about it, Dean. One of the, the food banks you help. Stealing out of their basket in Tesco's. So basically, they've got like a basket in Tesco's, and people when they buy stuff, they'll at the end of it they'll they'll go, 
I'll, I'll put that in the, the food bank trolley basket. So someone's actually stealing out of the donated food bank food. Desperate, desperate times and all that, but I don't know if it's too, um, too desperate. I don't know why. You know, if you're prepared and you buy the right stuff at the right time, then you know you'll be fine. Be sensible about it. I keep saying that. Being sensible. Um, I, I'll talk. I'll talk about it um, privately if anybody's interested. But I've got um, hand sanitizer, and I buy it in five liters. Um, I've got a local um, su supplier that I, I've, I've dealt with cleaning companies for like ten years. I've managed companies for ten years, and anything that I need, I, I can get. And hand sanitizer. There's companies that are just making an absolute killing, and I'm, I'm I was sick to death with it. So I actually went around buying buying it myself, and I'm reselling it to make sure the right people get it without having to pay through the nose for it. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, Raft Tree, hello. Netsky, new vlogs, hello. So uh, I've not seen you on here before. How are you doing? Um, so yeah, so uh, the hand sanitizer, um, I get it in five litre drums uh, or five litre bottles, big bottles. Um, and this, I've been hearing about people going into boots um, Boots Pharmacy and Superdrug and all the, these places trying to get the little bottles and they're getting like a box in and they're just selling them straight out and everyone's fighting for these tiny wee bottles and the bottle that I sell is a five litre it's a big big tub, it's a refill tub and then you can distribute it between your family and it does a whole family plus more and uh, yeah um, it's just the, the money that's getting added on people are adding on to make profit it's just sick so that's the reason I've been buying it myself. So I had a phone call before we came on. Um, a guy that I've been supplying it to um, to distribute with his community. I sold out. So he's wanting me to go and get more. So when I come off here, I'm going to go and get more and just make sure the right people are getting it because it's, it's quite sick that people are capitalising on panic. You know, they're capitalising on panic. Um, anyway, enough of that talk. Uh, but... It's just sick, anyway. Um, two men were arrested the other day for... No, it's just moved on to another comment. For hitting an old woman over the last packet of toilet paper. Oh, my days. I mean, what? Seriously? You'll have to let me know how much it will cost and to send to me, little man. Yep, yeah, no, that's, that's no problem, Hannah. Um, I need to work out, like sending it in the post, don't even know how or you know, how much it would cost or anything like that, send um, it's alcohol free and it kills uh, SARS and stuff like that, SARS is the same family as the coronavirus, so it's the corona family, um, so they've not tested it on corona because corona we can't get a sample of it so, but uh, the stuff's absolutely fantastic um, and, and it's just, in fact, there's a little bottle here, a um, little ha bottle of the hand sanitizer. But I've got, I said I get it in the big five litre. Um, so, really good stuff. And it's food safe and pet safe and kids safe. And it's happy days. But hit me up on, after the after the stream. Let me know um, if you, you are interested, anybody. I know I need to work out postage and stuff like that. I don't know how that works, um, to be fair. Um, but again, it's uh, close close on Friday. I heard that as well. I actually did hear that um, at our end. Uh, our schools are meant to be coming off. But I actually heard from a cleaner who works uh, subcontracted at the schools. So the schools haven't heard anything yet. But it's, uh, the uncertainty is the, the problem. If everyone knows where they stand, you know, Next Friday, there's going to be a lockdown. Everyone has to stay in their house for two weeks. You've got time to prepare. Fine, you can handle that. You know you've got time to prepare and you know what's going to happen. But this un uncertainty, this is what people can't handle, not knowing. That's the, the thing that's is bugging people. It certainly bugs me. Um, turn the volume down. It certainly bugs me. 
Let's have a little look. Get the usual transfer over to mobile, mobile phone. And, uh, there we go. So do that. Enter broadcast. Okay, so hello. Hi there, Hannah. I see you in the background. Uh, so there's some, some breaking news. Oh, God, breaking news. Um, Boris Johnson, is he dead? Is that, is that the breaking news? Um, he, he's quite confident he's not going to get it. I wonder if he's had his vaccine. Uh, you know, the vaccine has not been created yet, apparently. But all the world leaders are safe. Mm. Uh, things like that, just that they bug me. Um, so what I'm going to do as usual, flip the camera around and we'll get set up for the coin. There we go. So just move all this around. This stupid thing keeps twisting. I ain't buying another uh, phone holder. So it'll come from China. It'll take about a million years to get here because the, the postage is... There's an issue with the postage just now, obviously. Um, I believe that uh, international um, shipping from the UK is uh, banned just now. I heard that at the post office yesterday. So we've got one bag, two bags of 50s. Let's just read them just a little bit. There we go. You can see the comments better that way. Yeah, boy, Savage, twenty-three. Hello. So let's see what we need for our book. So book number one, we got completed. Um, can I bring it with me? I'm sure I did. Come off prepared this time. So I never did it. So, happy days. I thought I came prepared, but. Yeah, I did. I did, actually. Okay, so, book number one. We were waiting on the Kew Garden, and Amber found it a couple of Fridays ago. So that was book number one, 100% complete. That was one. Um, book number two. Book number two, all we're waiting on is the Kew Garden for book number two. And book number three. So if we find the Kew Garden, that would be book number two complete. But book number three, we're looking for a nice Roger Bannister. We're not just chucking any old one in. This will be a nice quality one. Then search missing for the queue, but the queue will get in there. Looking for Olympic boxing. Olympic football, Olympic handball, Olympic table tennis, Olympic triathlon, 2014 Commonwealth Games. We'll get a nice one for there. Should be an easy one to find. A Jemima, don't care what condition she's in. And 2018 Peter Rabbit, don't care the condition. And that'll be that book done. So we're not far away from completing book number three. Bar the Kew Garden, obviously. Um, I'll just sit in the background, post any links needed. Thank you very much, Hannah. Um, but yes, yeah, so the hand sanitizer, I have got hand sanitizer. Um, I'm sick to death of seeing people pushing the value up on these things. I've actually had enough of it, hence the reason I'm buying it direct and just making sure the right people are getting it. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, not trying to do it. I'm doing it because I'm, I've sold out of everything that I've bought. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm not looking to, to you know, have the next fancy car out of it. This it shouldn't be like that. People should be jailed for that. You know, capitalising on the... There was a thing in the States, actually, in America. Um, a man... I might say it was a 17,000. 
he bought 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer and uh, antibacterial wipes. And his aim was to put the prices up and resell them for a massive profit. And the government got involved and there were a way to arrest them for price gouging, basically pushing the value up of the product, buying that much of it, that he's able to dictate the price of the market. And at the last minute, just before he got arrested, he donated it all to charity. One way of getting himself out of the trouble. Um, but it's just an example, you know, that you know the, the force of the law was able to change his uh, what he was doing, and uh, that's the way it should be. Um, you wouldn't try and capitalize on, you know, trying to sell a, a four pack of toilet roll for like eight pound. You know, that's just just ridiculous. There's people out there who need it. Just give them it. You know. Anyway, and then hearing about like as uh, Norfolk said. People in the background, uh, but as Norfolk was saying, that there's there's people stealing out of uh, food bank trolleys in supermarkets. It's just ridiculous. Dean, I have one for you. I'll get in the post for you. The matter, buddy. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, it's ridiculous. The, the stores are saying they're going to get priority online booking to older people and disabled. How do they know who's disabled? Yeah. That's it. Um, that's when charities, local charities, should get involved, and they should be able to distribute, um, distribute locally, and ask local businesses to to help local businesses, local people to help the vulnerable. You know, if you know somebody who's vulnerable, then get them help. Anyhow. Two bags of 50 pences. So we're looking for the coins I've just shown in the book. Um, so what we're going to do, bag number one or bag number two? Bag one or bag two? Both are Cornelius Random, hello? Where are you streaming, Steve? Two, 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 that'll do me, happy days even though it's the same person. <laughs> uh, so we're bag number two, we'll take that as one. We've got David S, bag number two. And anybody else for bag number two? So the way it's working just now is in Deb. Perfect, thank you, Deb. Um, who was that they just asked about when Steve's streaming? Steve isn't streaming. It's going across all four platforms. It's going across Dragon Lord Coins, Steve, Scott's Coins, Hand Coins, and My Family Collects. This video will be going across all platforms, all those four um, channels. So Boris Johnson might shut schools in England. You're going to have to do something. Um, you're going to have to do something, definitely. So bag number two. So we'll get rid of bag number one just now. So, two hundred and fifty pounds and fifty pences. Let's hope we can find something that's half decent in here today. That'd be nice. Anything for the book or any keeper, to be fair. So, sealed bags today. Hoping to find something half decent again. So, we'll see. Two, four, six. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. 25 bags, 10 pound in a bag, 250 pounds. For 250 pound coin hunt. Uh, sorry guys, no notification today. I hope you're all doing well. We're doing absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Let the coin hunting. Begin. So, do, do, do. yeah, so we're just having a little, uh, we're just tuning the fat just now about greedy people and this virus, this cashing in on everything. It's just, it's annoying. Um, there's quite a lot of us getting a bit annoyed about it, and there's vulnerable people out there that need help and support and they need. 
um, and they can't get it because everyone's buying out the the toilet rolls and the Brillo pads and the so Sherlock Holmes, year 2019. Paddington at the palace with one, two, three errors. Um, it's got the Dan Temple error. It's not got the error on the top of the hat, but it has got the error on the side of the hat. And he's got the chips on his shoulder. That's a three errors. Um, feeling awesome today. Might have been about a 24 hour bug. I hope so. Um, it's not It's not good uh, hearing that someone's not well, David. I'm glad that you're, you're feeling better. No, definitely glad you're feeling better today. Oops. Oh, and a bogey bag. So Disney got eight rolls of toilet paper today. Felt great. The world we live in now. What, because you felt like hunter-gatherer? Coming in that front door with the, the top roll under your arm. That's it. You need to get cups of tea all week now for that. But that's what it's like, isn't it? It's, 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 uh, it's a desperate times. It shouldn't even be like that. It's a limit that people are allowed in the shop at one time. Limit what they're allowed to get. Angela, hello. So we have got a Roger Bannister. Year 2004. Paddington at St Paul's. 2019. Oh, yeah, Angela, sorry, I did see that. I was in the in the post office when I seen that. Streaming next. Yeah, um, Cornelius, yeah. Um, we all... I'm not sure when he's going on again next. Um, he should be on tomorrow, if he's able to do a head-to-head -head with me tomorrow. Don't know, Hannah, do you know if when Steve's due on next? Has he said anything to you about when he's planning on going doing the next live? So Paddington at St Paul's, another Roger Bannister, and the tale of Peter Rabbit. Year 2017. Uh, Disney, I have six 24 packs. I'm selling for one ninety nine and then anything postage for one square. Yep, that's that's absolutely I think you're underdoing yourself there, David. Uh one ninety nine per square, definitely. Yeah. You shouldn't really be joking about that, because you probably give somebody an idea. I know that uh, somebody was uh, thrown out of uh, our Asda. Um, or was it our Asda? Some, I can't remember if it was our Asda, it was a local Asda. Thrown out of Asda for stealing all the toilet roll. Out the toilets. Benjamin Bunny. 2017. Yeah, I've seen your uh, new webcam. It looks smart. You just need to make sure it's not too sensitive. Um, what I done with mine was when you had the kids around the table trying to do... Basically, I was trying to focus on too many things at the same time. It just went all bloody across the whole screen. Um, so I ended up just putting the webcam to the side and not using it, which is a bit annoying because it cost a wee bit of money. Oh, we've got a boogie bag. 
Yep. Boogie bag. So I am looking to find a coin for the book today. Um, one of the Olympics would be nice. Olympic football or triathlon, that'd be really nice. Try and get the harder ones out of the way. Kew Garden would be fantastic. Can't see that happening though because Amber just found one a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Amber found one a couple of weeks ago, so... Has anyone had any idea if the, there's been an announcement on the Olympics yet? Paddington at St Paul's. Is the Olympics going ahead? The Olympics are supposed to be in Japan, weren't they? I'm not even sure how bad Japan were hit. If they've managed to get things under control. Are the Olympics going to be behind closed doors? That might have to be an option. Everyone just watches it from the TV. But again, that would affect the the economy because then again, when they've, they've won the Olympics, they would have sat and planned you know, an estimated X amount of money would be brought in in revenue from the Olympics. There's Paddington at the Tower of London. Year 2019. Uh, one dictionary. Oh, no. One are not going ahead. Oh. So I know that the Euros that were meant to go ahead, the football, they've been delayed till next year, apparently. The Olympics, that'll be, that'll be, that's a shame actually in the Olympics. Um, cause Japan would have spent billions and billions of pounds on building the new stadiums and road networks and infrastructure for the the whole Yeah, sorry. Um, bogey bag for the whole lot of the, the Olympics. So it's a lot of money's worth. Um, hopefully they, they reschedule it. I heard that also, Hannah. Oh. So hopefully, hopefully they reschedule it because it's uh, not that I watch much of it. Usually just the women's volleyball, to be fair. Everyone's got a soft spot for the 100 metres. Uh, Paddington at the tower. Yep, yeah, Hannah, how are you feeling? There's a nice one. And then a not so nice one. Nothing really to write home about so far. Uh, another Benjamin Bunny. And then a Victoria Cross. Medals. Year 2006. Well, the 50 pence guide by Andrew Collins UK today. Very nice guide. Perfect. I've heard a bit about this uh, Andrew's Coins UK. I have heard a bit about it and um, the books. Can I just stick to what I know? I've got my uh, UK coin hunt books. Use them. And our uh, inserts are provided by Raftree. Another bogey bag. Obviously fantastic getting the inserts. Carrick's on. Hello, Carrick. Uh, 
are you okay to take your clothes? Ah, right, okay. Sorry, we're just to me. So what happens when you're not paying attention to the comments? So, not much today in the, these bags. Yesterday was a quite a good hunt. An Olympic basketball yesterday. Always good to get one of them for the book. And we filled up all the easy coins as well at the book. Which is absolutely fantastic. Quality Johnson Dictionary. Wow. Representation of the People Act. Even better. Twenty nineteen. Oh, got an Olympic. What were first Olympic? We've got a really dirty Johnson Dictionary. Year two thousand and five. Absolutely million one actually. Uh, representation of the People Act. Two thousand and eighteen. Another Sherlock Holmes. Christopher Ironside. Now our Christopher Ironside, Benjamin Britons and 2017 Shields all go into our jar. And our money will be donated to Diabetes UK. So two pound uh, fifty pences are the Christopher Ironside, Benjamin Britton and 2017 Shields. So we have got an iron side for there, but we have got an Olympic. Well, which Olympic can it be? We are looking for boxing, football, handball, table tennis, and triathlon. Yep, so we've got actually. Hannah reckons it's archery. Disney thinks it's archery. No, Disney thinks it's boxing. Olympics are still on. Yep. Huh. Boxing, fencing, um, my guess would be Bokia. Let's have a little look. Let's see. So, can it be one of the ones we're looking for? Volleyball. And we don't need that one, but it's a spare. It'll still do. An Olympic is an Olympic is an Olympic. We'll take it all day long. Was anyone even close? V, volleyball. The closest there was fencing. Um, but there's that many Olympics, there's 29 of them, so. So, it's a, a sign anyway that there are Olympics out. Hopefully there's more in this bag. That would make me really happy if we can find some more. Okay, so that one there was the tail of Peter Rabbit. And Paddington with no errors. Paddington at the palace with no errors this time. Volleyball, you get them quite a lot, but Olympics are a great find. Yeah, we do. We've had a few Olympics, a uh, few of the volleyballs. Quite a few of them over the time. Bocky, I thought we'd get absolute power of them. It does get a bit tiring when you find them ones, the Bocky. It's just, just a, a very uninteresting coin, in my opinion. Okay, so we've got two Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock's on his way back. Uh, a Paddington at the Tower.
trying to think if there's anything that I've missed out on for the shopping. I need to go and panic buy for. Pretty much stocked up on everything for uh, when when I knew things were getting a bit tough. So that was um, just going and getting bits and bobs. Um, that was one tower and one St Paul's. Come on, a cute or a puddle duck, exactly, definitely. I missed most of Ian's this morning, doesn't he? Is Butch not well again? Oh, oh, Butch is all right. He was on here yesterday. He popped in yesterday to say hello. So I wonder if the 2020 Shield's going to get released this year. Well, it's going to be an NIFC. That'd be interesting to see, actually. Okay, so that was a Paddington at St. Paul's and representation of the People Act. He was live last night, was he? Ah, Butch is a nice guy. Uh, Butch is a dead nice guy. So an NHS would be nice, the suffragettes, the stars, all them, they'd be lovely, uh, lovely keepers. Always happy when I find one of them ones. So, we've got, we got him yet? Nope. So we've got a Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Two thousand and seventeen. Interesting to see uh, Peter Rabbit is joined by any others. Yeah. Uh, 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 so when's when's that meant to get released? Is that tomorrow? My right in. I, I hope it's not an NIFC because it's. I've just got. They've, they've done that last one, the last Peter Rabbit one, NIFC. I just totally disagreed with it. They just they shouldn't have uh, done that. We've got a 2016 here. They shouldn't have any I see that they, sh they should have put it in circulation. Bear in mind, the other 13 of them you're able to get in your change. Okay, so we have got a Benjamin Bunny. And we've got a year 2016. So we know it's not a Battle of Hastings because there's no date on the obverse. So, any ideas what you guys reckon it could be? NHS, Suffragettes, Disney as well, Suffragettes, NHS, EU stars, they're all keepers for me all day long. Anniversary coin, uh, Beatrix Potter anniversary. Um, can it be... Jemima, Tiggy Winkle, Squirrel Nutkin, the Peter Rabbit with Whiskers 2016, or Team GB. We've been getting a lot of these Team GB coins lately. Yeah, the, that wasn't the Commonwealth Games, guys. The 2016 wasn't Commonwealth Games. It was 2014 was the Commonwealth Games. Commonwealth Games. 2014, the Olympics were 2016, which was the Rio, the Rio Games. Um, let's have a little look. Yep. So we had the Olympics. That was the Rio, Olympi Rio Olympics. And 2014 was the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. So basically, you've got your your Commonwealth Games, then two years later your Olympics, then two years later. Back to your Commonwealth Games and so on. Ah, a bit of a bummer that one. I was hoping it would be a Jemima. Need a Jemima for the book. We have got a Jemima put away for the our 750 subscribers giveaway. All honestly, you keep losing subscribers, Benjamin. I'm 
hoping that we can get to the 750 soon. That'd be really nice. Yeah, no, not at all. It's not that you don't know your dates. You're right, we're still there. It's still sports coin. Oh, get in! Coin for the book. Don't know if anybody just seen that. Don't know if anybody just seen that, but it's an absolute cracker. Uh, oh, get in. I'm well chuffed with that. Just thinking in my head there, are we actually going to ever see one of these? Um, so we've got David S. Coin, Victoria Cross, Heroic Acts, but as the kids say, The Wounded Shoulder, 2006, Paddington at St. Paul's, and Peter Rabbit eating a carrot. Get in. That is for the book, so I'm well chuffed with that. Um, that's that page complete. And it's just Jemima. So we're not, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're plugging it away. We're getting there. I'm well chuffed with that. Happy days. Brilliant. Yeah, I live in watching. Again, it's a nice quality one. Um, again, it's, I don't know. Just, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm, I'm, I'm not too fussed um, how many people are watching, to be fair, as long as the right people are watching and uh, you guys are enjoying it. And if anybody wants to jump on the stream and say hello, you're very more than welcome. So, two Johnson Dictionaries, Victoria Cross the Medals, Paddington at St. Paul's. And Paddington at the Tower. I'm well chuffed with that film. I can't believe we've got the uh, Peter Rabbit. 2018. Quality, not quantity. Definitely Disney. Let me just do that. So I've just clicked the link up on the screen. Uh, I've got two more bags to do. If anybody fancies jumping on, um, you don't have to show your face, you can just show your hands. Uh, maybe wants to jump on and say hello, you're very more than welcome to. Hi there, Sue, how you doing? Nice to see you. To see you nice and all that. That's nice seeing you. 2016 Peter uh, 2018 Peter Rabbit. I'm well chuffed with that. And another Benjamin. So a, a Peter Rabbit and a, a volleyball. So that's uh, so uh, yeah. I'll um in the the group chat. I'll I'll drop a mess message. Um, I'll drop you a message. About that hand sanitizer. Um, if anybody fancies it, there's another iron side for charity. Okay, so Sherlock Holmes, and I've got another coin here, but let me just think. Does anybody fancy playing a game? Anybody fancy Pop Norfolk? Do a head to head and it'll be um, Do You Know Your Coins? I um, spoke about it briefly before. Um, like, I'll say the name of a coin and you have to guess the year. Or I'll give you the year of a coin and you have to guess which coin it could be. What's the game doing? So basically what it would be, it would be a head-to-head. -head, um, so I'll be the the host presenter or whatever you want to call it. Um, so say David jumps on and Norfolk jumps on. So it'll be a head-to-head -head between the two of you. So I'll give you a coin, for example, 
Um, David, can you tell me what year Peter Rabbit eating a carrot was? And you've guessed the year. We spoke about doing it before. Just something different. Five minutes. Just five minutes. What you guys, just something different in between. If anybody is up for it. Uh, okay, I'll pick easy ones. It won't be, you know, difficult ones. Yeah. Hannah, do you fancy doing it? Giving it a bash? It's, it's not about winning. It's just about having a laugh. And again, I'll give some people some ideas as to Nanny Sue bang on. Nanny Sue 2018. Peter Rabbit eating a carrot was 2018. 2017 was the tail Peter Rabbit. 2016 was the one with the whiskers. People claim that the Peter Rabbit with the whiskers is there's an error. Oh, rubbish. Just people trying to say that there's there's things wrong with the coin when there wasn't. It's looked at back to the original proof. And you'll see. Doing what they, do you fancy jumping on doing a head-to-head -head with someone? See if anyone wants to challenge you? Guess in the year? That type of thing. Yeah, David S is up for it. If you're up for it, Hannah. So I'll, I'll explain as we go. Oh, she's not sure. So, yeah, so basically, for example, um, in 2006, what were the two commemorative coins that were released? The Victoria Cross, the medals, but what was the other coin? Then you say, uh, heroic acts of the, the year of heroic acts, Victoria Cross heroic acts. What year was that? That type of thing. Bit of a... Uh, anybody's up for it. If not, let's make a coffee first. That's fine. Hannah, perfect. Um, let me make a coffee first. You make one for me as well, please, Hannah. David, I'll pop the link up again. We'll try it out today, see what like, and if there's anybody... And again, there might be people up there that out there that didn't know the answer to that. And then it's just giving people a bit of knowledge. Ah, but Sue, so do you take milk? Do you take milk in your uh, your coffee? If I jumped on, I will definitely lose. Not at all. It's not about winning and losing. It's about, you know, let's say you lose and you get absolutely gubbed. You know, you, you are absolutely, you don't get any right. Then, one, I'll give you maybe a bit of incentive to read up. Or two, you'll learn as you go. And it's, it's not about winning and losing. It's just, and again, it's, it's to other people who are watching, I'll, I'll be able to jump in and help out if you're struggling. No, no good with the years. It's like I'm going to say, um, Paddington at the palace, how many windows are on the palace? That's just, that's, that's daft. <laughs> how many buttons does Paddington's jacket have? No, we're not going to be doing that. That's just daft. No good on year or date. Angry Brits, hello. So, Nanny Sue, how are you keeping? Hello, buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing? How Not you too bad. Still feeling a wee bit rough, but soldiering on. Are you yeah, soldiering on, were you? Yeah. There he is. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so you're feeling a bit better then. That's good. Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't a hangover. Don't drink. You don't drink. Just Red Bull. Yep. You don't drink any anything bar Red Bull and vodka. Nope. Bar just energy drinks or Dad Coke. 
Uh, happy days. I'm glad you're feeling better, though, buddy. I really am. Uh, MK Show TV Love 3X. Hello. Uh, afternoon in the UK. It's seven minutes past two in the afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, not too bad, Angry Brits. Uh, just keeping, just plodding along. We're, go we're going to just try a wee game out just now. Just a. Uh, um, something different. Test your knowledge of the coins, the commemorative coins. So just whilst Hannah's making a cup of coffee. Well, I can't be in chat because I'm on my mobile. I'm uh, I don't have my laptop set up. Ah, uh, I'll read out any comments. It's fine. Um, so for example, <laughs> what was that? Uh, but the windows definitely wouldn't. No, uh, I wouldn't ask any questions like Paddington Palace. How many windows are on the palace? That's just that's you, that's sad if you know the answer to that. You know, uh, Victoria Cross, the medals. How many medals are in the on the coin? Let me think. Oh, how many medals were on that coin? Davis Lincoln. Two medals, it's just, doesn't it? Two, yeah, yeah. Yep, so then I can show the coin. There you are, there. Two medals. So things like that, just something different. Try it out, see how we go. And then we left like three people watching them, no, it didn't work. Now the pub is closed. My social circle is wrecked. Haha. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but again, the precautions need to be took to make sure that everyone's safe. Um, if they said that, you know, Friday next week, there's going to be a total lockdown in Britain, two week lockdown, everyone has to stay at home, you've got a week and a half to prepare. Then you can go, right, well, we know where we are. We know what we can do, you know time to prepare and, but this uncertainty waiting on an announcement from down the street oh just well they've already started doing in my local Iceland store that from 8 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock is for old age pensioners to go in first yeah because the virus is targeting mostly the old people and then yeah. after they leave they're able to sanitize the place for the rest of the customers to come in. Yeah. See, that that's fine and dandy, but I know somebody who went, my grand knows somebody who went down to Iceland today to get the stuff. There was nothing on the shelves. There was no toilet roll. There was, there was nothing that we went in for. Yeah, so the place is more saying that We've got a ded dedicated slot for an old age, pen old age pensioners to go, but at least put some stuff on the shelves for them to get first. Yeah. You know, there's no point in uh, there's no point in having designated times for people to go, vulnerable people to go. The way I was told, down uh, there, risking themselves of catching the virus in the first place. To find as I was told the other day by a taxi driver, it's not like the factories that produce the toilet roll is going to run out. Yeah, because if they catch the illness, then that's it. You know, so definitely, there's no point in panic buying. Well, go back to the olden days. Get a hook in your toilet. Newspaper. <laughs> you know? There you go. Boris Johnson, kiss this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, always got to take it down too low. Um, I know. Anyway. Um, Gen C, hello. Uh, I'm guilty of stockpiling, unfortunately. I wasn't taking the risk, so I bought loads of essentials. But the thing I would say is if you have stockpiled in any way, shape or form, and you have got extra, and you know that you're not going to need it, or you know somebody who does need it, that is vulnerable, that is older, that does need the help and support from you, do the right thing and please help out. Because, again, we say it in the coin community, share the love and you know help each other out. And your next door neighbour old buddy family don't visit you know behind that door you don't know what's going on but if she's sitting worrying about putting her heating on because whatever you know no toilet roll there's she's she's got one pack of pasta to last her a week you know help each other out 
and we should be making sure we're, we're uh, the government should be doing a lot more than what is happening now, in my opinion. But well, they're already saying over that, here, Dean, that probably by the start of next week, all our shops in our city centre are going to be closed. Yeah. yeah. But again, what they should do is have a deadline and give the retailers time to prepare for it and say that you need to make sure that you've got your enough stock for, as you say, Iceland, vulnerable people, old age pensioners get to go first thing in the morning. Yeah. They've got a slot and they go in and get their stuff, but there's there's the, the, the two old ladies that went my grandos that went down to Iceland today. Nothing on the shelves. What's the point? They've risked their own health getting there to find out there was nothing there. Exactly. Stupid. But anyway, who thought coronavirus would be involved in coin communicating? Uh, but it's on everyone's mind and a lot of people are worrying and it's um, sorry, I did see something pop up. Someone asked if these are real coins. Yes, it says our 50 pences. Um, let me just quickly show a completed book. Our book number one, we got completed. So these are all from in date order. These are commemorative coins that were released into circulation. So all different from 1998. These are our 98 ones. Uh, onwards, that was when the 50 pence changed in 97 with 29 Olympics released so it was all our commemoratives and then the Brexit that was us leaving the EU and then territory coins at the back some of the UK territories and that's not even the UK territory there. That was a Republic of Gambia. Found that in the change. One Dolasi. Oh, quite a cool one, I thought. For a couple of them. It was a 2014 and a 2016. Same shape as the 50 pence. I've got a hand back. Hannah in the house. Hannah jumping on. You want me to add in, Hannah? You want to add yourself in? Or she's on the phone? Ah, she's on the phone. Um, yes. Pa mass panic buying. Yeah, as I said, if you've got anything that you know you can help people out with, then please do so. As I said, I bought hand sanitizer. Um, I get that's just a small one, but I get five liters of it. And I'm selling it at almost cost price just to make sure the right people are getting this hand sanitizer because there's people that are just adding, you know, multiplying it by whatever number they want and they're selling it because people are panicking. And, Did you hear what uh, happened over in America, Dean, because of the corona? What was it? For anyone, what's happening over in the States, for anyone that's under quarantine, if they have their, if they're registered with the government, no, for being on benefits, yeah, they are entitled within the next couple of days or week or so. They are entitled to. I'm not sure what it's called, but they're entitled to get between one thousand and four thousand dollars. In the states, yeah, no, I have that. They're supporting. Um, that they're doing everything they can to help people out. Yeah. Um, UK government will end up doing something, but is it going to be enough? And is it going to be enough time? I mean, I don't so know what happens when your mortgage payments are prepared. due. Your, UK government's not prepared due. for anything. I've heard over here. You've got letters threatening that, that your internet's getting cut off. And, you know, um, um, the school all the schools. Sort of well, it's, it's a bit of a worry for everyone, but again, just make sure everyone's okay. Help each other out and the world will go around. Um, be sensible about it as well. Make sure you're, you're washing your hands on a regular basis. Um, speaking of washing my hands, I'm going to go wash my hands now because I've stopped. The usual story when you're doing the coins, your hands are black. But um, yes, Trump said they're going to give everyone a thousand dollars to help them. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, 
as, lo- as long as it's used on the right things. Yeah, but the thing is, that $1,000, it's only available to people that are making $75,000 a year or less. Yeah, I mean, you must be hard done by if you're earning $75,000. No. Again, I suppose if you're not earning, you're, you're getting no wages at all, then I suppose then you are going to need the support. That's, that's, that's what the worry is. Yeah. Um, so is Hannah still in the background or is she, her screen's I disappeared? Just can't hear her at all. I can hear her. I can't hear her, no. Huh? Oh well, let me see, turn the volume up, see if, it, if it's my end. Hannah? Yes? You can hear her still, yeah? Yeah. Can, can you not hear her, Dean? Nope, can't hear her at all. <laughs> She's able to hear you and me, and I can hear her. Yeah, well, you just have to relate, relate between each other, then you just need to let me know what Hannah's saying. So the game is just going to be uh, guess the coin, guess the year. So start off. Who wants to go first? Hannah's on the left. Go with Hannah first. Yeah, go with Hannah first. Which year did the 50 pence come out? The old 50 pence is the very, very first 50 pence. The very, very... 1971. David, you'll have to see it because Dean can't hear us. <laughs> uh, she, said, she said 1971. Um, no. No. 1969. 1969, there was a 50 pence piece out. Where's my book? What is that? I don't even know where my book is. I thought it was 71 as well. Yeah. Oh well, two seconds. Uh, you every day. <laughs> the first one I've got. Because um... even when you Google it, it says seventy one. Hmm. That's even... when it went over. Oh no, that's when it went over the decimal. Sixty nine. Yeah, sixty nine was the yeah. So it's nineteen sixty nine was the year the the fifty pence came out. Again, we celebrated in two thousand and nineteen fifty years of the fifty pence. Oh yes. That's correct. So, 1969. So, there you oh, go. Well, I was David S. In the year 2010, what was the only commemorative 50 pence piece that was released? Front me. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's why it says I'm not good at this thing. I don't know the dates. <laughs> yeah, are you doing response? your, your yeah, coins in date order? <laughs> yeah. I don't have my, co- my coins with me or nothing, like so. Uh, just thinking, what will be your first the coin after the queue? I'm not a hundred. Okay. Don't know. That's why I said. Anybody, anybody guess it? Hannah, she said she, she said anything. Um, it's here. It's the year two thousand ten. No. Girl guys. So, and what coin is this? Girl guys. Coin... Was girl it? guys. She's saying girls gates. Yeah. Girl guides. Call me. There you go. Call me. So it was a bonus point to Hannah. She's celebrating saying go me. <laughs> <laughs> I Hannah you doing? So no, I can't hear him, so we're going to have to relay. I don't know what's going on with the stream here. It's my what. phone, probably, actually. My phone just... Um, so, oh, 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 which... Hannah, which country... Yeah. Let me think. Right, so, which which um, city was the 2014 Commonwealth Games held? The 2014 which coin. City? Glasgow. <laughs> I'm not, David, I'm not Commonwealth Games. Glasgow. Do you know who's not about the Games, the Commonwealth Games? Glasgow. So the 2014 that? coin, the Commonwealth Games coin. Glasgow. So the same Glasgow. Yep. Happy days. 
David, 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 David. Which year were the Victoria Cross coins released? So, no. Nah, Victoria Cross, 2005 or six. Oh, I need one answer from you. 2005, I'll go with. Nope. Six. You're so close. I even said it at the run as well. Uh, yeah, I was thinking 46. I'll give you a clue there. Yeah, there's well, a good one. the end of the war, wasn't it? Which coin, which Olympic coin was not released in the year 2011? Which one was released uh, on a separate year? Released in a bunk. So rephrase it. So there was an Olympic coin. 2009. There was an Olympic coin that was released before the year 2011. Was, was it the um, Athletics 2009? Uh, it's the same as the Athletics 2009. Yep. Yeah. The Blue Peter one. Yep. That was the Blue Peter one. It was released, uh, one of the kids designed the uh, Blue Peter coin and it was released in 2009. You get them in the bunk card. I was looking at one the other day and it sold for £116. Bunk. I was looking at buying one and I thought, no, I'm not going to pay that kind of money for it. Um, so, yep, athletics, well done. David S. Emery, what, got any questions I want to ask David? And Hannah, you can jump in and ask a question if you know the answer to it. Which year did the Beatrix Potter coins first start? 2016. 2016. Yep. <laughs> well done. I'm just happy, David. Hannah, because you're winning, we'll give you something a bit more difficult. Which year was Roger Bannister coin released? He, he was released in the 50 year of 50 coins. So that would have been 2019. What was, what was that, David? Uh, 2019, because he was released with a 50 years celebrating the coins. Hmm. So which, was which year was Roger that, Bannister wasn't? released? It was released Original. before that. Um. Yeah, 2004. 2004. David S. You need to win this. Make this the last question. What do you think? Before anybody else can ask questions. David S. David S. David S. David S. How many Beatrix Potter coins were released in the year 2017 for circulation? Four. Yep. Happy days. So I think that's even Stevens. We'll leave it at that and I might go wash my hands. Let you guys read the questions. Anybody wants to drop a question for Hannah? He hasn't got a clue, has he? I've been without any mintage figures. That's just it. That, that's gonna be too difficult. Uh, I'm quite to bond to me at the moment. I'm definitely gonna have to sit and read up on my years of coins like uh, I mean, nice, easy ones. Uh, I have all the years written down, like, on a piece of paper, so I do, each one. Yeah. But I think it's just... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just all the coins with the kids and just sitting... The kids, I said, the kids with magnifying glasses and everything, looking at the, the coins. No, they, they probably know more about the detail than I do. <laughs> uh, Hannah one David looks like rabbit in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now... You thought Disney liked you as well, David. <laughs> just be a friend of her. That's it. You're right off that Christmas card. Monty, Monty and Jim can have you now. So, ah, exactly. They could take a fight over you. I think she'll be staying in that doghouse. Uh, uh, I wouldn't have known them either. Again, it's, it's it's all about you know just a little bit of a little bit a couple of questions about the the coins. It's 
there's a lot of people think just the fifty pences are just fifty pences and there's a lot of, lot of detail in them. The Olympics are stunning coins, they really are, apart from Bokia. I hate that coin. But um they are nice coins. And as long as the coin depicts what it's supposed to mean. Like Roger Bannister, there's not much more you're doing with Rod- Roger Bannister. I mean you run a you're mile right, it is four nanny. minutes. To take not what that comes. It does depict what it's supposed to say, what it was supposed to mean. But there's other coins that are just. I think. We the Johnson Dictionary is yeah, just. I don't like that coin either. It's not my <laughs> favorite coin. <laughs> what was well. that? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm not saying yeah, that you can say whatever you want and you'll not hear what you say. Ah, uh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, considering he didn't, so, he didn't hear me. Hannah, 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 I can't hear you. What was that, Hannah? What? You didn't. Can you hear us, Dean? <laughs> This is not fair. This, I feel like I'm, I'm getting done out here. What was that, David? What was, what was she saying? She's just laughing her head off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on. I've got one more band to go through. I'll back through that. And then we'll get shifting on to the, the bank. And I've got the bank run and everything through today. So... Get coins ready for tomorrow, and uh, if anybody if anybody has any questions you want to to ask tomorrow, if you're up for doing it again, David, if you're on, yeah. Um, or you could you could ask me the questions. I'll go ahead, Ted, with somebody. Ah, that would be a good one, David. I'll go ahead, Ted, with Hannah. Seen this Hannah one today. Yeah, perfect, Aaron. Hannah be like researching all the questions and. Uh, Get me with stuff I've absolutely no idea. Thing here, in the questions, the one for the kids. can you include the territories as well? Yeah, <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, uh, I love my territories, but again, 50 pence denomination. Yeah, oh, I like that cup. Oh, I do like that cup, Hannah. It's a soup bowl. That's Hannah's new sponsor. I've got the saucer as well. I'm trying to lip read. She stole that. No, I didn't it. I that the saucer for it, no. What? <laughs> no, I do like big cups. Um, but I first got given one of them. I was like, why has it got two handles? And then you realise, oh, it's a large cup. It's quite a lot of coffee in it. Normal cup? <laughs> so one of the large ones, you get them in, like, it's like a soup bowl. I, was, I thought I was going to give him a soup spoon. Friggin' coffee? Costa. <laughs> coffee? Ah, uh, I thought you were drinking some Heinz there. It's a bloody cup of tea. No, this is not right. I can't, I can't hear. This is not fair. <laughs> She's saying, it. saying it's a bloody cappuccino. Cappuccino. <laughs> Well, I've got a freezing cold cup of tea here. If it was a coffee, it'd have a skin on it. Have you ever had that when your coffee gets a skin on the top? And, oh. <laughs> no. What's What's the you <laughs> you take a sip of it and it sticks to your top lip. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I love that. How many toilet rolls can you get a minute? You need drink coffee straight away. I know, I know that we've got 15 people. Don't make crave it. You know, that film on top. Okay, so I'm going to clear up some of this here. So I can't believe what that's though, David. Eh? What do you got? What do you make of that? That's a fab find, that. Best yeah, quality like, one, but friend, Nick. I'll take it all day long. I'll take it all day long. Uh, Michael, it was my dad's mini. Definitely for the book. Years and years ago. Spare. The only, look, the only look I've had lately in my latest video that I uploaded was, what, seven bottle of Hastings in one bag. Jeez. 
Anybody else can do any of you collect proof coins or sovereigns? So was that a sealed bag? No, it was a bank bag. I got four sealed bags in one bank bag. Uh, it wasn't like uh, seven Kew Gardens or something, eh? I wish. If you just bear with me a second. Who was it that that question, Hannah? Sorry? About uh, collecting proofs. It was Angry Brit. Yeah, well, I've only got one proof at the minute, which is my D-Day, but I'm trying to get silver proofs one every month to build my collection up. Because now I've started with that one. I th think I have started with something, so I have, like the way Gen C started with her bunk set. I've got two silver proofs. And it was as well the other day, it was nice enough for Judith L. She sent me the original. A uh, big D Day 50p coin. All oh, right. To go along with it, because what I'm doing is, as I'm getting uh, off eBay the empty Royal Mint silver proof box, mm -hmm. I am, I'm putting the old D Day 50p in the capsule. I'm putting it in that to display along with the silver proof D Day. I've, um, I haven't got any old ones. They're not. Uh, they don't appeal to me. And then uh, the other day I won a, what was it, an Indian head, quarter ounce, uh, silver bullion round on a American live stream at oh, half two. David. At half twelve in the morning. I'll um I'll just nip up and get the American coins that I have. Do you hear me okay? Because was it um was it you, you who asked about them the other day? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? I don't think he can hear you yet, <laughs> Alice. Can anyone hear me? I can hear you, Ding. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Perfect. Happy day. Ding. So, Ding. five. So, it's bag number one. Not me. I'm going to get the... Get no the... problem, Hannah. <laughs> oh, Hannah's off. Yeah, she's yeah, just the way to get her the American coins that she has, because I asked about them the other day. Which coins? Or American coins? Oh yeah. Because I'm start, I want to start uh, collecting American coins and all. Yeah. Because oh. other, as I was saying the other day, uh, at half twelve in the morning, I was on an American live stream, and I won yeah. a Indian head quarter ounce silver bullion coin. Yeah. So what, so was that on air hours you're saying, yeah? Yeah, at half twelve in the morning. Oh. I'm in my bed by then. No, I noticed that Angry Brit says, do you collect proof coins or sovereigns? Who was that to? Was that just in general? Or? I think that was just in general to any one of us in, up in the panel. Yeah, I, um, I collect uh, proof sets. I've got all the proof sets barred this year. Um, I don't have this year's one. Probably, I simply can't afford it. You probably have the most silver proofs out of all of us, probably. Yeah, I'm wanting to thin down totally on my silver proofs. Um, one hundred percent, actually. Um, I'd rather be getting sovereigns personally than getting than having silver proofs. Uh, I did buy a lot of silver proofs, and then. I've just got to a point now that I want to thin down on the silver proofs, and I've got my proof sets, all the proof sets from seventy one. Um, but I just want to get my focus on sovereigns. I think sovereigns, and there's a few other coins I want as well. 
have been looking at getting the Hercules coins. They came out yesterday. I'm not sure who it was, but someone shared on Hannah's stream last night that apparently I think they're sold out now. Two of them were released at once. Yeah, two were released at once, yeah. Um, Two of them were released at the same time. So that was number six and number seven. So um, I think I've got them. Um, The payments come out with PayPal anyway. I think it was Ron M said that he purchased them, so he did, and just hoping that they don't cancel his order. Yeah, I'm the same. Um, I've got number two. I've got number two, number three, and if I get these ones, that'll be six and seven. So I'm still m- missing one, four, and five. But basically what's happening is they're getting released, say, at 12 o'clock, and they're sold out by two minutes past. Yeah. They're literally just That's selling them straight away. Oh, we have got a Brexit coin. Peace, prosperity, and friendship with all nations. 2020, that was the first 2020 coin released. And we've got a no date on the obverse with the JC. So we know that that's about these things. 2016. Yeah, so I'm missing number one, four, and five. So but the crazy thing, annoying, the crazy thing about them, Dean, is, is that it's non collectors are banning them and then they're selling them all for big money. That is the problem. But again, with me needing one, four, and five, <laughs> I'm, I'm having to buy them and I'm having to pay through the nose for it to people who are of no interest in coins at all. I can't even trade them because they're not interested. Yeah. They just want their money. It's crazy like so. It's a bit disheartening a bit, to be fair. Um, But again, is there an insider stuff going going on there? How they're able to sell it within two minutes, literally two minutes? There's no way that um, there's like nearly a thousand people sitting beside the computer and it sells out within like two minutes. There's no way. I just caught it out of pure chance. I was at the standing in the queue at the post office and the the lady was serving me and I went, my phone tinged, had a look at it and I went, wow, I need to go and get this. And uh, I actually had to tell the lady, can you just wait a minute, please? So if she's watching, I'm sorry. I don't think she understands them. Yeah, well, I was you, Dan, and I was, and I was get, trying to get them. Yeah, I mean, if I was driving, I wouldn't have got them. Um, it was just pure chance I was in the, standing in the queue waiting to get, to get served. That I seen it come on, but I mean, every other one that's come on, I missed number one. I knew nothing about it. Um, one I missed. Two and three I got, but four and five I missed by like seconds. And I missed it by seconds, and it's, it's just quite annoying when you're trying to get something like that. Um, so I'd, li- I'd like to probably sell some of myself. I think someone was saying as well that Steve missed one or two of them because he was in bed sleeping. It yeah. was that he had the bad back. Steve, Steve went to the Sainsbury's one day. Came back and you seen all the messages saying that you missed them. So he's having to then pay through the nose himself for it. Yeah. You know? And again, for a coin that's worth like £10, having to pay well over the odds for it, it's, it's not. But again, that's what's going on. And there's people doing it. Um, but I, I might end up even just giving up. If I can't get any more of them, I might just sell the ones I've got just to get bullion or trade for bullion because bullion is where I want to be uh, two Brexits uh, Benjamin Bunny and Paddington at St Paul's yeah there's a lot of Brexits in these bags but I'd look for them London braces for lockdown newsflash wow well,
There you go. There's a news flash for you. Thanks, Sunday Monster. What do you make of this then? Are you are you panicking, David? Or have you started preparing? Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother you. I think you have to be bothered to a certain degree where you're making sure you have got enough of whatever. I'll tell you, in fact, David, um, the wee one's on baby milk, isn't she? What is it? Baby milk. No, my wee one's uh, three years old, so she is. Right, so I'm just thinking, like, if you couldn't get milk, then, you know, what's your alternative? Have you got any... No. If I couldn't get milk, the alternative would probably be powdered milk. Yeah, so it's maybe worthwhile, just as a precaution, just get some powdered milk. Um, it tides over for a couple of days and so be it. But Yeah. Um, it's the only thing I would... But there was a woman in... Oh, what shop was it? A woman... She bought 12 tins of SMA milk. 12 cans of SMA milk. Why? Either she's buying it for herself. There's no way a baby can go through 12 cans of SMA Don't milk. Don't get me started on baby milk. So is it to resell? I would say it's to resell. She stopped at the because... supermarket t- tills and saying, get them put back. There was a friend of mine told me that over here, because I don't do Facebook or nothing like that, or so I don't. There was a friend of mine said to me that on the bad sell Facebook site for over a year, there is someone My selling the like baby food for forty-five pound a tub. That's disgusting. You know what? Plus twelve pound. Plus twelve pound for the delivery to your door. My grandson is due on Friday. And he's just grabbing them all up now, and then we cannot get killing on it. Baby it's food. Disgusting. I mean, well, things well, like that. That's that's what should stop. Somebody. You know? I understand the supply and demand. Come on. Oh, I understand where you're coming from, Nick. Man. It's crazy the way people are getting on. It's, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, Absolutely yeah, something ridiculous. Something should be done with people like that, you know? Well, we're saying that uh, her grandchild's due on Friday. Yep. And uh, she can't get uh, baby milk anywhere. Baby milk anywhere? No. Nope. Ridiculous. Right. Um, would that just be SMA Gold? I take it. No. Um, Cow and Gate. Message me, Hannah. If I can get it, I'll send some down with the sanitizer. I'm, I'm livid. Absolutely livid. If I can get some, I'll send you some down so you've got. Look at the colour of that. That's been sitting on some windy stuff. Michael. Yeah, that's going straight into the bag. It's not even gone on the mat. Yeah, so Hannah, let me know which one. Oh, that's nice, Hannah. Just let me know which one it is, Hannah, and if I can find any, then I'll I'll grab them for you. Grab a a top for you and send it down. At least I'll tide you over. Yeah, that's what it should be all about. It's just help each other. That is nice, isn't it? Do they still have them, Hannah? Yeah, as far as I know they do. Um, I only got this. I think two seconds. I'll have a quick look for you. Did she have another bottle of Pub Joy or Royal Mint or anything like that? Two seconds. I'll see if... Um... Where was that? Pub Joy? Pub Joy, yeah. Huh? Smart, so. The only two places I've ever bought from for coins mainly is either UK Coin Hunt and then recently there's uh, Dragon Lord Steve. <coughs> what is it? UK Coin Hunt, he looks after you as well. He'll look after you, he said. So does Steve Fraser. Two good places. Yeah, got that their uh, black penny, 50p off him. Twenty sixteen Peter Rabbit. Yeah, no, that was a lovely coin. Sold out. 
Did you see the any of the any of the pop joy coins that have come out? Guess how much I love you coins. I've got one them in the uh, behind us. <laughs> David, have you seen any of them? They guess how much I love you coins. I've seen them, but my order was cancelled on them. Steve's got them. Has he got them on his website? Yeah, I'm sure he's got them on his website. I'll have to take a jump over. They were they were all sold out, so um, they're really nice coins to get as well. No, so I think we'll keep an eye on the Pop Joy. Pop Joy usually do um, release coins. But that's that uh, coin, David. Four uh, thousand minted. So <laughs> that quick collect. I do know that Steve did say that he did get his hands on a handful of them, so that. He can like give away for like christening gifts and all that there that's coming up. Yeah, Steve got um, one of them for me, uh, two of them for me, um, because I didn't have the money in my account at the time when they came out. It was one of those ones where I was going to miss it, so yeah, money sent over to him and he got them sent out to me. So I was happy with that. So there's the link Fraser, here thank you very much. to um. That coin will be it'll pop up in a second. Excellent addition to the. the I'm on my there. phone, Hannah. I can't see the chat. Um, Are you able to just even that, send it later on WhatsApp if you can't? Right. Um, but yes, they still what have them. Um, that, that's for that, for that coin, Dean. More Brexit. It's another three. He can't hear what I'm saying anyway. No, uh, Dean Hannah saying that that link she's just put up is for that, that coin she's showing. Okay, let me just get rid of the screen here. Comments. All right, okay. Yeah, so the Pop Joy. Yes. 30th anniversary of the death of Princess Diana. Perennium. Nice. So what how many what was the mintage on that, do you know? Is it told you how many they've made? I don't like think they do actually. Seventeen or something. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Lovely. Yeah. No, that's a nice <clears throat> nice one. <clears throat> I, I still remember the day that um she died. I remember that morning watching the news. Yeah. And this one Will be yourself. Do you remember where you were, David? Is um. Are you a oh, wee kiddie? I was sorry. a kid. I can't remember. What age I was? This one of Steve. Were you even born? Bit. What year was it that you died? Nineteen. Ninety-seven, was not it? Nineteen seven. Nineteen. You were born, but. Nine. Nineteen. Oh, Ninety-seven. Nineteen eighty-seven. I was seven. 1997. Uh, I, I can't seven. even remember. I can't even remember what happened last week. Never mind when I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember I remember. You remember it. Um, I remember quite well. Hannah was still in nursery. I wished. I know all about it, like, because when I was growing up, uh, I can remember, like, my daddy talking about it and all that there. So I do. And so I was. Yeah, that was, uh, was a sad occasion. Yeah, I think John brought the song, Hand on the Wind. I was born in 73, Billy Joe. Another eye on the side. And, uh, another, so, another eye on the side. Oh, we're six people watching now. Put it off. I was 24. Thank you, love. What was it? Uh, no, my missus just handed me a coffee. Or, uh, Hannah was saying she was 24 whenever Princess Diana died. Yeah, it was... Uh, I remember it very well. I remember that morning. Sad. Yep. I think a lot of people were just in disbelief that actually had it. To be fair, <coughs> like Twin Towers. Remember when that happened? That was 
another two bricks. Yeah, and another I shower. remember exactly where I was when that happened. Jim Bone, he was six when Lennon was shot. Yeah, uh, John Lennon, he got shot by one of his fans. Was it not New York? What happened? Look at the colour of that. Yeah. What on earth is that? Is that a squash yeah. for Akersman? You do wonder what people do with their coins, right, don't you? Absolutely disgusting. That's going just straight in the bag. Oh. Wonder how they catch bugs and stuff off the coins. It's things like that on the coins. So I am nearly done. Quite a few breakfasts today. Quite surprised with that. It's been a breakfast a couple of days in a row now. Um, it's a lovely. big one, David. Indeed, that is lovely. Hi, Jim. Look after yourself. What is it, Hannah? It's the original one, the big fifty p. Yeah, I got that there one sent to me by Judith L. I have. Well, I'm saying I have two. I have one. Billy Joe has one. That is a lovely coin, that one. The one I got given to me by Judith is actually the very first one of the original one I've seen. No, it's a lovely one. The bunk one's quite nice as well. Get it in bunk uh, on the cards. It's um, nice. You've got silver proof, didn't you? Yeah, I've got silver proof. I want to get the bunk one as well. Mm -hmm. Scott, Scott them up, his favourite coin. Oh, there's a coin. Can it be a Q? Mm -hmm. Do you do? Oh, there's a, a disgusting looking Olympic. Yeah. Still on the Olympic. I don't even know if we need to Google why on there. Maybe it's a history lesson. Book number one. Book number two. Is it an Olympic for the book? Thank God for that, it's not. And then I would like to thank you for putting the badge in extra with the We Trade that we done. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Like yes. Good. Uh, you're very welcome, buddy. Look at this, David. Is that an Olympic? It's an Olympic. The state of it? Yeah, 2011. Um, what on earth Olympic. is that? Gold ball. Gold ball, the state of it? Yeah. It's going yeah. to get it. washed. It's, it's, it's getting washed, that one. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, Jeremy Fisher. Hi, Jim. But I tell you what we do have. Oh. A coin here. No Who's date it? no bears. Oh. Bye, Michael. So is it a Q, WWF, or Commonwealth Games? Commonwealth Games, I'd say. Commonwealth. It's going to go in the book. I'm going to shove that in the book. Um, I'm trying to not itch my face. I feel... You ever get like that? You, you get itchy when you've touched something dirty. That's, that's actually just where you got put straight into the, the sink. Remember to tell him, remember to sing happy birthday to himself. Who's that thing? Absolutely filthy. Ah, right. You want to bite Dean, Hannah? Yeah, he was meant to sing happy birthday while I'm washing oh. hands. <laughs> hey, Hannah, was, Hannah was saying, remember to sing happy birthday when you're washing your hands. Yeah, again, I'm coming back to coins, so there's no point in singing happy birthday. But I'll wash my hands. <laughs> totally. From elbow to elbow, neck, you know, oxter to oxter. <laughs> 
especially when you t- touch these coins. Um, we're not taking edge. Oh, yes. Territory. Don't know what year it is, though. I'll tell you in a second. A happy birthday twice you're meant to sing. Tom Kitten. <coughs> Tim Tibber. Benjamin um, Bunny. Gary Carter. Two Brexits. Uh, I got one of these yesterday. Year 2007. Capture of Gibraltar. Sure, I got that one yesterday. Exact same year. Yeah, same year. 2006, I've got. A spare one. Straight. Oh, there's one monster bringing something in. There's that, David. Yeah, it's going to be out right there on the group. My monster just handed that in. What's up? That, uh, Maya put up. Yeah. That looks fine. Nice, it's it? all punk. Good thing about it, it tells you all about the beaches Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. Yeah. Um, the times they were attacked, and yeah. There he is, there's, there's Winnie. Three well, bags I'm, left. I was speaking to a friend, an old friend today, so I was thing, and he's uh-huh. actually an ex Marine. Okay. So he is, and he says that he has a load, like literally tons of coins from around the world. Yeah. So he does, and he says he's going to dig them out for me and give me them. So whenever I receive them, I'm going to do a video. Oh, brilliant. That would be really good to see that. Yeah. On the way, Paddington Station. 2018. But no, that'd be really cool to see. That's my favourite out of the Paddington set. Yeah, same. Benjamin in there. And then one I've not found today. Public Libraries, year 2000. Three bags left. Right. I can't remember why. No, um, go and take it up and ask Cameron to change oh, it for you. Oh. He does. Ah, so you can't get around jumping. Hmm? Um, I've lost them, penguins. Wi-Fi must have came back on. No. I can't believe the state of that um, gold ball. Absolutely filthy. I know people who put them back in when they get coins in that state. But... Floyd! I'd rather just clean them up and put them in spares. Unless they're totally roughed up. But that's just dirty. That's just absolutely filthy, actually. Gen C's yeah. back in the house. Oh, Gen C. Floyd! So you, all you got today was the dictionaries then? Just one dictionary with uh, five bags. That's, that's not good at all. There's nothing worse when you get a really rubbish hunt. Um, yeah. Saying this, I've got... I don't know. I, I, I do find it hard to find the, the Brexits just now. They're either coming in sealed bags or... And you're getting tons of them. Or you're, you're not getting any at all. That's a, that's a good pile of got a Brexit there. If I get any Brexits, I'll be keeping them no matter how many of them I get. Are the Brexits, you just keeping them all? Yeah, if I get whatever I might I get, I'll be keeping them. Because the coin, to me, it means a lot because the date on it is the date my week yeah. I was born, the 31st of January. No, definitely. Again, if it means something to you, then definitely keep them. I am keeping some. I'm just not keeping them all because I can't afford to keep them all. <laughs> no, it's like Pokemon. Pokemon. I've got to get them all. Uh, but look, I mean, there's, there's Brexit. I mean, that's what... See, um, 
only needing 16 more for a full book. Yeah. Is that your first full book, David? You there? Against a lot of money. Well, my first full book of practice, huh? Oh, for practice? Sorry? Yeah. So, like 28 there. I mean, I'd... Yeah, and what would that be, 90 or, something? What, 14 pounds? A lot of money's worth just to, to put away. What is it, anyway. I've got spares of other things, but just... How many that. would that be? How many coins? Uh, I'm not sure the money that the uh, UK Coin Hunt album holds. I've never actually counted. UK Coin Hunt, I'm sure it's 96. Tell you two seconds. There's 12, 12 to a page, and there is one... Two, four, five, eight sheets, I think. Six, seven, eight, eight pages. So ninety-two, ninety-two holds. No, yeah, can't even count. Hang on, twelve. Times eight. <coughs> Twelve times eight hundred. Ninety six, yeah, it was right the first time. Yeah. So, we have got three iron sides. Going the diabetes UK tub. Hi to our charity that will be donating the money to the end of the year. Um I'm trying to get my hands on as well the strike your own Brexit, but it's going oh, yeah. for stupid money on eBay. You were, you're picking them up cheap enough, surely. How much did they go for, like? Well, the last time I checked, there was... Flip. I haven't checked in a couple of days. Like, the last time I checked, most of them were on auction, and they were going from, yeah. like... There was bedrooms from... And upwards. Yeah. I mean, you... Shop around. Just keep looking. You you will pick a bargain. Oh, you definitely will pick a David. bargain, buddy. Um, I don't even know if I've got a spare Brexit. A uh, spare uh, Brexit strike your own. Um, are you meaning strike your own from the day or from the thirty first or after the the eleven days afterwards? Any any one. Mm -hmm. Just as long as it's a strike your own. Yeah, because you'd strike your own. It was in special packaging saying I struck this coin on the 31st of January. And then there was another one saying I struck this coin. So there was one that was specifically for the day of Brexit. Then there was one for the 11 days afterwards. Um, so there's two different ones. So I have got... So there's, there's a couple of spares I've picked up. Um, 20, 2018 Peter Rabbit for the book. We got a uh, Commerce Games 2014 for the book. Um, Hannah, what, what city was that? What? Commonwealth Games 2014. Jim will come up with something. Oh, Glasgow. Aye. Glasgow. And, uh, Captured Gibraltar, year 2007. Oh, I've got six and eight. Maybe a trader. <laughs> and then a, a volleyball trade. Maybe a spare for trade. And then the gold ball, actually, the gold ball's sitting in the sink. That is, is I don't know, being covered in like a... One, I think maybe one of the kids off of it. It's all sticky and hairy looking. It looks like the coin needs to shave. It's all hairy and sticky looking, so... I'll get it properly washed and then put away in the spares. So, anyway, I'm glad you're back on your feet, you guys. Hannah's looking a lot better today. David's looking a lot better today. Glad to feel better. Great today. Yeah. Hannah looks like Casper yesterday. And the missus ain't laughing me in the games room anymore. <laughs> Hannah's pretending she's not listening to me. No, he can't hear us anyway, I so see. it's just a joke. What was that? Like, you can't hear her anyway. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 she was looking a bit white yesterday, so I'm glad you're feeling a bit better, guys. Yeah, um, I look a bit better. Thanks very much for doing the, the game. 
Uh, Han is the winner, so next time we do it, Hannah, if you're up for it. I don't think anybody want to go. <laughs> just, they'd be like, no. <laughs> well, as long as Jane can't hear, I can just cheat and tell everybody the answers. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he hasn't got a clue. <laughs> I'm already talking about a clue. <laughs> I've absolutely no idea. So if anybody's just watching, you don't know what's going on. I cannot hear Hannah. <laughs> so Hannah's saying whatever she's saying about me, and that'll be remembered. That's, that's getting out the window now, Hannah. That is getting out the window. That'd be quite a shame, actually. Imagine all these people who are getting their married weddings planned, having to cancel your wedding. Spend all the thousands and thousands of pounds on a wedding. You'd need to cancel, wouldn't you? Well, would you? Yeah, it's you can't cover, isn't it? Uh, unless you just went, I think any any over yeah. any gatherings over five are banned. Uh, Hannah says, I think it's any gathering over five is banned. Ah. Uh. But I would. I, I, I you keep forgetting every time for uh, you can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of rules me out coming across to you, David, anytime soon. No, I don't think anybody's going anywhere so anytime soon. London coming across next month or so. But that's out the window for a wee bit. Yeah. Like, sure, it's, not like, it's not like we're going to go anywhere anyway. Nah. Well, you can't go anywhere. You're, that's that lockdown. Just hope. Uh, we Robin's travels is going well today. That's if he gets um, to go out. Um, I was say, I can't I see. If he did how manage out or not. He would get out here some series away. He was apparently saying that it, that uh, his is the last ferry going before the close. The ferry stand. So was he going yeah. by FDS or something like that? No, that's, uh, not a hundred percent sure. He does have Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, it's scary times. That's the, the conversation has been quite a bit about this corona at the start, anyway. And he was worried, well, that if he's going to be able to get coins with him and all, just to try and say that his coins could be contaminated and all. His coins could hmm. be contaminated? Yeah. Who said that? Robin? Robin. Not Rob. Hmm. Okay. Well... Oh well. You know, if he's worried about his coins being dirty, contaminated, clean them. If you if that's what you're worried about, you're worried about contamination, clean your coins. Um it's not like these are gonna be damaged in any way with fairy liquid. But uh yeah. I wouldn't touch silver and stuff like that. Over older coins, but these ones are they'll get away with it. So that's me. I'm just going to wrap up and I'm going to go and wash my hands from Oxter to Oxter. Uh, absolutely minging the coins. Make sure you're, you're keeping sensible and stuff. I'm going to try and get some more coins for tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can get on tomorrow. So, what were you saying, David? You want to try and get some more coins? Uh, you want to try or... David, you, you hear me? Yeah. What is it? This, see, this, 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 I don't know what's going on with my phone. Um, I'm saying, are you, going to, are you going to try and get some coins for tomorrow? Or? Yeah, I'm going to try and get uh, coins tomorrow. But I'm just working it day by day with my bank because every time I go down, they're, worrying, they're talking about uh, the contaminating with the coins and all that. And there's information about the way I'm telling also Oh, they're not shutting? No. Well, there's my Lisa just confirmed that today when she went down to get my coins, they confirmed that they're not shutting. Uh, I, I don't know. I think the banks will end up shutting personally if there is a, the, the city centre goes quiet because if there's no businesses open, who's well, actually Well, my local bank, bank isn't know? in the city centre. My local bank uh, is... Or more or less what we would call our main road. Mm -hmm. 
No, it's uh, it's I guess one of these ones where we just as long as everyone's sensible, we should all be fine. It's uh, it's the top and bottom of it. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna get rocking and rolling. So, David, Hannah, and guys, you better hope you all look after each other and look after yourselves. And have you got any neighbours that are needing toilet roll? Who was it? They had tw- twenty four packs or something. Disney, no, she was on earlier on. She said she got uh, quite a few bits of rolls of toilet roll. And you as well, David. You got quite a lot as well, didn't you? Yeah. That's it. That's you safe then. Oh, why? Hard to be. You're not going to get caught shot. No. Just trying to get rid of the last these symptoms. He has cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just honestly, look after yourself, eh? See me yourself, but buddy. Take care of your family as well. Allow me, everyone, in the chat. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. Take care. And Take hopefully care see you tomorrow. David, I'll show you um, these American coins on, I do believe, um, Scott is trying to get some coins so we could possibly be on later on. Well, I'm waiting on an email from... I think it's some, one of the American coin tubers anyway. They're wanting to send me a couple of uh, coin rolls, so they are. That would be fab. So, if you can that I, so that that I can do a coin roll hunt myself. I, don't, I just want a roll of coins. <laughs> to have them. Yeah, that's what I would like to There you go. There's a healy for you. Seriously, something wrong with my kids. It's cabin fever. They've only been in for three days. <laughs> that's, a, that's not a coin. It's a slice of bread, son. <laughs> I'm bored up my mind. Can I get not right. Can I get, can I get a game? Can you get a game? Yeah. But I'm yeah. going to get shooting. Okay, I'll leave you guys bread. to it, okay? Yeah, you guys can stay on just now. I'll, I'll need to get shooting, so I'm going to miss the, the bank. Look after yourself. Okay? But you're honey. Take care. Bye now. Bye. 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 <laughs> Remember to leave the studio, Dave. I know. <laughs>